Okay guys, I did like two different polls on Instagram and Twitter to say that shall I do a book tour of my old sketchbooks? And you all said yes, so here we go. Literally just the covers alone. I am already cringing. What what am I what what is that? What on earth was going through my mind to doodle that? But yes, let's start, shall we, by this book. Just the cover alone says it all. And please don't judge me of these pictures here. I've no idea what went through my mind at that stage in my life. Already cringing. Okay, so off to a boring start. There's some planning. Some more planning. Some researching. Then more planning. Planning planning oh a very colin baker sick doctor collage evaluation writing going on there some more planning oh now now we're kicking off some good some real art stuff going on here look at this proper oh i'm actually really proud of that one i can't remember what the sea was for but i am liking the london effect around it i like that very much artist research Artist research, fonts. Okay, what? <laughs> what? What? Why did I do that? I think the M stands for market hints the uh, display of favourite fizzy drinks at that time of my youth. Oh dear, this is when it gets dark. <laughs> I knew what happened at some stage in this book. Let's move on, moving on, moving on, moving on. E for Earth, maybe? Or, okay, no, it actually stands for that. Ooh, history of printmaking. Fascinating. Okay, now I'm generally frightened right now. I think, <laughs> I sort of remember this. We had a puppet workshop and I was trying to do the Cookie Monster and that is not the Cookie Monster. That is frightening. Hands. Hands, hands, hands. No idea, but there we go. I'm right, so glad that's the end of that book, so I shall move on to something else now. That is just. Oh, there was some frightening stuff in there, I'll have to agree. Let's now move on to street art and photography. Ooh. Well, this is a bit of a weird start. Photography and typography. Why have I got photos of creepy alleyways? I have no idea. I'm not gonna lie, these are the worst quick sketches I've ever seen from my own creative, creative hand. Creepy clown, creepy clown, creepy clown. It's a reprint of Alice Cooper. A bit of uh, human experimentation going on here. I love the light at college. I loved screen printing so much. Just loved it. I mean, the idea I had on this was good, but that is not good. That, for starters, is creepy as hell. That, I have no idea what's going on there or what's going on with her hands. She has no hands. She hasn't even got hands. Oh dear. Okay, when I did started photography, I had a thing. I think I still do actually. Of black and white photography with trees. It's got trees, trees, some more trees, spooky trees, tree montage, out of focus trees, more, 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 more trees. Can I just clarify something? I am not one of those, you know, hippie tree hugger people. I just like photographing trees in black and white. I really don't know why. There's something cool and, I don't know, it's just something about black and white trees that I really, really love. I don't know why. I really, really don't know why. There's just so many trees. Oh dear, Jenny, what is wrong with you? Ooh, that's pretty cool. So there we go. There's the end of that book, which I'm pretty glad to say. Let's hope there's no more trees in the next new books. Probably will be, because it's about North America. Ooh. Planning, of course. Tribes. Ooh. 
and I'm making it more colourful with clouds and some colourful stuff. Houses. My attempt of one of the houses. Not a very good attempt. A rubbish attempt. <laughs> with toothpicks. Okay. Not gonna lie. I am pretty, pretty happy and pleased with these little uh, sketches here with some Native American jewellery. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. That, not so pretty good. What is that? Some more clouds. I don't know why I did that, but that's actually pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. Christmas cards. More planning. Christmas time. Christmas time. More balls and candles and crappy drawings. Okay, now that is m one of my favourite pieces of Robin so far. I'm pretty happy with this. And now we're back to street art. I think this is street art 1.0 and that is street art 0.2 because I ran out of space for this book. So I carried on with that book. What? <laughs> oh dear Lord, what? What, what have I done to myself? What is that? The Joker. Book number three, and it's Jen's book. Why with a Z? Because I was cool. Ah, so here's the hands from the first book. And I've drawn more hands. And I've got to say, these aren't bad. I should draw my hands more often. Really good hands. Very handy indeed. Ooh, a mechanic hand. Can't remember why or what for, but I chose hands and I chose to sculpt it. No idea why, but there we go. Research. I think this book is my textiles book. Oh, I hated textiles with a passion. I'm not going to lie, this book is actually pretty boring because it's just full of um, sewing stuff and a lot of writing and weird... Weird back... Just weird stuff, really. That why, why did I do this in my books? I have no words. The hand was looking okay until the pinky. What is going on with that finger? Okay, now we're getting to some art. Look at this landscape. Oh, I'm so proud of that. That is a really good landscape painting, if I do say so myself. I mean, of course I was going to include my favourite illustrator of all time. Quentin Blake, along with my crappy cartoon artwork. Don't ask, just just don't ask. And to finish off, some more writing evaluation work, which I hated very much, because I am not a writer. Considering I write budge loads by the looks of it. End of book three. No, four. Four. Or I'm four. <laughs> I lost track of books. Okay, now it's time for F M P which I think stands for Final Major Project along with that annoying doodle still don't know why I drew that but let's have a look in the book okay so for my Final Major Project at college I think I chose the subject of alcoholism again no idea why but there we go <laughs> so here we are alcohol some very flattering pictures there as well that I chose from Google brilliant right to kick it off again with a very boring start Axe and just more just more writing okay so going through the pages there's a lot of like really sticky and very flimsy papering of um sample work of when i did like different types of printing i think this, is, this book is mainly about alcoholism and printing so this is my idea of alcoholism that is my brother fabulously posing there for me as doing this, the actual stages of being drunk <laughs> Very depressing fonts and writing there, look at that. Right, okay, moving on, that's a bit shocking. <laughs> that is the general idea of my final major project. The piece is much bigger than that, and yeah, a lot of screen printing involved doing all of this. So yeah, it was quite good fun actually, doing the screen printing. I remember spending the time at uh, in the screen printing room, literally two weeks, to see if I can get it right, and this is just loads more writing. And I managed to get it all right. And that is the picture of the final piece. 
so there we go. If you want to see some more shocking and probably some surprising good work of mine in the old days with this lot, please do comment down below and I will see what I can do. In the meantime, thank you for watching from this video from my shockingly bad college work and I'll see you all next time. Enjoy, stay safe and keep working. Bye!